know it is National Puppy Day. So in honor of that, we got the biggest get you can get for National Puppy Day, and that is Tommy Habib, who is host of To the Rescue, which actually airs here on CW33. Good morning, Tommy, good to see you. Hi, Jenny, thanks so much for having me on. And well, uh, I first wanna just give a shout out and uh, tell everybody in Boulder that we're thinking about them, love them, and our prayers are coming their way. Thank you. Yeah, it's been so it's been so hard to hear, uh, you know, the news this morning. I know so many of us do have those connections to Colorado. So thank you for those words. Um, I want to talk sure. about your show. I know that many people who watch CW 33, our loyalists here, have seen it. But talk about sort of the backstory of how To the Rescue came to be and, and what you show each uh, Saturday. Well, so I've been uh, in dog rescue. I guess for a little while, I thought I was. So I, I've been part of the uh, SBCA LA, hosted their telethon with Betty White and uh, thought I was participating. But until now, I didn't realize how little I was participating. So uh, it just became time. I had, uh, had dinner with a friend and his wife and she was in rescue and she was telling me these stories. And I said, yeah, it's really time that I use my platform to uh, to to bring this message out to to millions of people mm -hmm. because uh, it's not being told and so we really uh, that was a catalyst for it um, I'm I'm so surprised of what's happened over the last uh, five months since our show started airing because America has really wrapped their arms around our show yeah. uh, so it's it's pretty spectacular our ratings have doubled uh, since we started. Uh, since we thought what we were going to have, um, the CW Plus actually came to me and said, Tommy, you're our number one syndicated show on television. You beat out Seinfeld, Schitt's Creek, all 35 other shows like Maury, Jerry, all, all those shows. And I went, so, that's pretty amazing for I, a weekend. I, I hate to I hate to interrupt. I want to tell about this story. You're obviously a Texas native. I want to talk about the story of Fitzgerald because you went on this rescue mission. It sounds like from Texas to Louisiana. Take, take us through that. Yeah. So as you watch our show, you'll know we get pretty in depth into people's lives. And so this little dog, Fitzgerald, look at him. He's so sweet. He uh, he had a, a heart murmur and they in a heart problem. They weren't quite sure what was going on. So the vet said, listen, we, we have to get him open heart surgery uh, really quickly. There are only two places in the central US and one was Texas A&M and the other was LSU. And so A&M couldn't do it. We had to get him in so quickly. So we actually, we drove him all the way down to LSU Baton Rouge uh, in their veterinary hospital there. It's a teaching hospital. And they said, we'll do it. Um, and so, and then people came together. The people at Dallas Pets Alive uh, are the ones that rescued this dog off the streets, found him a foster. With their foster, she was so wonderful. She, through the pandemic, she spent, you know, six, eight months with this dog. Uh, and then uh, um, she and I and our crew went down to LSU and they did this, this miraculous surgery on this sweet puppy dog. And here he is. Look, he was, you know, oh, getting ready to to gorgeous. stay the night there. Hey, really quickly, and, Tommy, I'm, cu I'm curious to know if doing this work, you know, having been sort of seen it from the uh, sort of promotional standpoint, and now you're really seeing the heart of the stories, has this changed your views at all um, with regard to people getting personal dogs that are rescue dogs versus from a breeder? Yeah, there's no question. You know, uh, this show is so much more than I ever thought it was going to be. You know, I really wanted to do something special. Uh, the show, it is, it is a show about rescue, but really it's a show about humanity. It's about the people and their dogs, not just the dogs. So, and I tell people, don't, it's not a kid's show. You know, it's okay for your kids to watch, but it's so important for the family to watch yeah. because they're gonna get so much out of it. The kids are gonna ask questions. The parents are gonna answer and the and qu parents will have questions for the kids as well. So I think we drilled down really to the people and how these dogs change their lives. Uh, and, and no question how the people change yeah. the dogs' lives. Tommy, thank you so much, not just for the interview, but for doing this whole series and really bringing attention to the rescue world. I so appreciate it. 
Well, thanks for having me on. And if people will just go to to the rescue TV.com, every city uh, it's on a different station. So uh, it'll it'll tell you when it airs in your area. If you're here in Dallas Fort Worth, please. It's on Saturdays at 7:30 a.m. and Sundays at 9:30. It will change okay. your life. Tommy, and, and thank you so much. I so appreciate you. We'll have to have you back. Okay, you guys, Saturday, 730 in the morning. It's always difficult to interview somebody via Skype because we're kind of back and forth, but I hope that you feel the mission of that. Now, here's what's coming.